Hi guys, this is a new episode to review the current Xiaomi Xiaolang baby sterilizer. Uh, please purchase the correct plug head because we have two versions. One is the China plug head, the other one is the UK SG plug. Okay, first of all, I would like to talk about the size of this little guy. Uh, why do I say it's little? Uh, in fact, it is smaller than most of the other sterilizer available now. With a capacity of 18 liters, the exterior itself stands at a 285 mm length and then 315 depth with a 400 mm height externally. So if we look at internally, <coughs> the internal size is basically 253 mm and followed by a depth of 275 mm and followed by a height of 310 mm. So what does it mean? Basically you can put 18 bottles, uh, both large and small size together. So why do I say 18 bottles? Nine on top, the big bottles and then nine below the small bottles so now let's take a look inside so it comes with a bottom tray which is this little guy and a middle tray both made of stainless steel so it has two variable le uh, levels for you to customize and then uh, to actually insert it inside is pretty quite easy it's just that you probably need to actually friction fit in and then as for the bottom tray uh, it is simply to store it in easily. So internally we have actually two pieces of T UV T5 lamp stored neatly inside the lamp compartment. To change this lamp we will actually need to remove four screws at the corners. So we recommend an annual change of typically uh, one year of usage. This lamp has got a lifespan of approximately 8,000 hours. However, as time passes, the lifespan of this uh, effectiveness will actually drop. So please look at our other listings that we actually do sell the replacement lamp bulb by Philips. The internal compartment is actually made out of mirror gloss finish, 304 stainless steel. It has a high level of chromium and nickel that contributes to the mirror finish that aids the multiplying effectiveness of this UV light by reflecting it internally. 304 stainless steel is the main material in all kitchen equipment. This is a safe, strong and with no chemical added. There is also a white LED, this little small little white LED that will light up when the door is open to assist us during the dark. Exterior it is beautiful with curved lines and then the doors are magnetically sealed so with a small little LCD by the side and then uh, there are actually five simple buttons touch sensor buttons at the bottom namely are the on off state the storage state the dry mode the UV mode and the auto mode on off is actually just to shut down the equipment completely after the set will automatically shut it down uh, once uh, any task has been finished. The auto mode itself indicates 45 minutes total of which the minute you switch it on, choosing auto, it will blink for 5 seconds. After blinking, this is a confirmation time to make sure that you are choosing the correct mode followed by uh, 30 minutes of heat drying. The heat drying yes, is at 45 to 55 degrees Celsius. Next, after this mode, it will actually jump to 10 minutes of UV sterilization mode, followed by a second level of 5 minutes heating mode. Lastly, it will actually go into storage mode, which will actually automatically repeat a minimal heating and UV process every 4 hours. So the UV mode is uh, the same, similar. So what happens in the UV mode? Uh, during the UV mode process itself, uh, five seconds will actually blink again to confirm your selection. This UV has got three different modes. So it has got a seven minutes mode, 12 minutes mode, and a 17 minutes mode. For the seven minutes mode, it will provide you with five minutes of UV and then two minutes of ventilation. And for the 12 minutes mode, it will provide you with 10 minutes of UV followed by 2 minutes of ventilation, etc. So during the mode of the UV process, you will still be able to operate the doors to actually place in more items. But do note,
to allow a minimum of five minutes of sterilization process or effectiveness. When you open the door during the, this process, it will temporarily off the UV light and resuming the UV process after the doors is closed. Please allow a full seven minutes process to complete before opening the doors. Uh, the reason is because the final part is actually the ventilation part. This will actually get rid of the sanitation smell thereafter. Followed by we have this dry mode. The dry mode, same thing, five seconds when you press it on, five seconds you blink, then you actually go into the drying process. So drying mode, there is actually three different modes. So namely uh, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, 50 minutes, and 60 minutes. Drying temperature ranges from 45 degrees to 35 degrees. Do note that the process is actually very quiet. The noise that it actually generates during this process is only at 57 decibel. So lastly, at storage mode, it will repeat a 1 minute UV followed by a 2 minute drying process every 4 hours. So overall, this is a very neat and effective product. It is simple enough to operate and lasting enough as most of the components are pretty straightforward. I would like to actually highlight a little bit on the door hinges. This is the part where it stands out uh, compared to the rest of the competitors. The door hinges itself, if you notice, there is this little compartment uh, which actually stores the wires. They are actually stored neatly inside the curved compartments. As compared to the other brands, you will find some, some other brands having the exposed wires. Uh, this will eventually cause damage and wear and tear. So things that you can actually sterilize. Uh, there are a lot of things you can sterilize. You can sterilize toys. You can sterilize bottles, handphone masks. Basically, this is a less messy method as compared to the steam method. So thank you for your time and then I'm signing off. Bye.